Welcome back to my channel, boo. Today I have something very interesting in stores for you guys. If you guys want to see what it is, please stay tuned and enjoy. So I'm starting off with pieces, well, tracks, if you want to say. I'm starting off with some tracks um, to make this wig. And I'm just going to bleach it so it can match the weave that I already had. This is the butchered frontal, guys. Oh my god, it doesn't look butchered, but I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to see later, this shit is butchered. So, I'm using some bleach, some developer, some conditioner. It's pretty visual. You guys get the drift. And we're going to bleach this frontal up to match the rest of the hair that I have. So, it doesn't show, but I'm going to tell you guys, I used about two scoops of bleach. And then, I added some developer. Now let me tell you, you guys know that this is expensive. I don't know why I poured so much, but I didn't even use much. I really didn't use much, and it's not like I can save it, I don't, or I don't know how to save it, but I was really mad that so much was left back. I was really mad. I was like, yo, what else do I have to bleach to use this up? Because this is expensive. So you just want to keep stirring, 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 stirring until you get a good consistency. Boom, boom. And then I took my toothpick comb and I'm just going to make a part in the middle so it's easier for me to bleach it on both sides. So I'm just going to brush it out, make sure it's nice and neat and um, don't do like me, you guys need more foil paper on the floor. Like my mom is going to kill me, she would have killed me had she seen bleach on her carpet y'all like y'all know how West Indian parents stay for their belongings dog like she would have killed me so I'm just bleaching the hair right now and you'll see with the tracks how far from the beginning of the track I start to bleach if that makes sense uh, I would say it's about like an inch or two away from the roots or away from like the track that I and then I start bleaching like underneath that and I'm just gonna bleach that, bleach that, bleach that up. Hey, no, you think me I bleach in like, and then I flip. I did the same thing to the other side, and then once that side was done, I flipped it over as you see here, and I bleached both sides again. And now I'm just gonna fold it. So that way, it can process faster. So yeah, this is the track. So I'm going to show you here how far away I start that, well not far away, but like how many inches I start to bleach. And even if the hair goes across, like you can just brush it out after if you don't want any splotches, you want like an even tone or something. So I'm just brushing it out, making sure it has an even tone. And then I do the same thing and I flip it over. Okay, so I made a mistake here. I just like, I know what I wanted to do, but you see like how it, fo like you can see the track folded over to, and it's like the parts that are not bleached touch what's bleached. It's okay. We're not seeing these tracks are gonna be in the back, like nobody's gonna notice them. So you, what you wanna do is put your hand like I did there, and then you fold to make sure that the track doesn't fold over on the bleach parts. And then I just clean the sides and wait. So 30 minutes later, I checked them and they seem to be about the same color as my weaves that I have already bleached and dyed from a year ago. So I went ahead and washed it. I was kind of nervous because they looked pretty dark and I was like, oh my god, like I hope that this matches with the other hair. And it did. It was just that it was wet right now. So it obviously it looks, it's going to look darker because it's not fully dry. And you guys can see that there's still thread in this frontal from when I butchered it. <laughs> Oh lord. So yeah. So guys, meet Risha. She is my client of the day. She can get her hair did. So I'm showing you guys the pins, the thread, the don't cap that I'm using. I'm showing you guys that I'm also going to be needing a brush and some scissors. And yes, I'm weird like that. I like to make my wigs between my laps. Like I haven't found a sturdy wig stand for me to do a wig and like that shit brings you all around the world and back like I don't have time for that in my lap I am it's more restricted it's like in my control I like that so this is the old weave that I had for over a year now this is the weave that I've made my first wig with 
and this is also the first wig that I've ever bleached and I'm just gonna show you guys the pieces so you guys know like this this is real like this is over a year here this piece is longer some of them are gonna look shorter like I'm telling you it's been through a lot like this 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 wig has been through Labor Day me almost losing my life me almost losing my good up good up like good up good up wig like I was not leaving that behind for nobody like that's another story for another day but I might tell you guys now because we have a lot of time like this video is very long and like I said you guys gonna be hearing me talk a lot so I'm securing the wig cap down you guys already know this stuff like you guys see it all the time so I just secured the wig cap down and boom you guys are gonna see the butcher now so the butchered part of the wig, like the actual frontal, I am putting it in the back. You guys see that? You guys understand that? So it's in the back. And you see how butchered that is? Okay. So, I put it all down and the reason for the space in the front, you guys will see afterwards why I left. I didn't do like normally and put it all the way down, like the lace front all the way down to like even a, maybe a few centimeters after the wig cap. So yeah, you see how butchered this is? Like, I don't even know why I thought I could do, I mean, I could, but I don't know why I thought, pff, yeah, I wasn't going there with that. So I lost the clip of me actually sewing all the way around, but this is simply what I did. I just sewed it all the way around. And we're gonna start with the first track in the back. We're gonna get Risha all nice and dolled up. She really enjoying this. She's like, yes, I've been wanting a freaking makeover from time. Anyway, so let me let me try to squeeze in how what me and this hair has been through. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so I made this wig a year ago. First of all, my very first wig with this hair took me about twenty hours to make in total. Okay, no lies, twenty hours in total. Um, I rocked it for a bit, then I bleached it was black, and then I bleached it to this color. Rocked it, uh, went down to Labor Day. Okay, me and my cousin, we were with her friends, and they wanted to go behind a dancehall truck, like the Jamaican band. No offense to no Jamaicans, we love uno bad, 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 but true say, when it comes to carnival, I'm not trying to listen to dancehall, like I want to listen to soca, okay? So we're behind the Jamaican truck, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, it looked like a pilot, like, I don't know, it looked like everyone just dispersed, okay? Everyone just dispersed. First, people were running. I don't know what happened till this day. All I knew, all I knew, it was stop, drop, like it was stop what you're doing and run. Like people were just running. So I ran. I freaking like someone grabbed my head, okay, trying to get one up on me, okay. Instead of like grabbing my head and like not really realizing it's a wig because I had my wig just held on with my bandana. Yo, man's when he grabbed my head to try to jump over me, my wig came off. He shot that on the side and just kept running because like it was like a stampede. Yo, I dropped to the floor. Okay, I kid you not. And all those things like, no, girl, you got it. Like my wallet fell out of my hand. My wig was to to the right of me. My purse was to the left of me. And I was like, my girl, like you need to get up. You need to grab your wallet, grab your good up, good up wig, and you need to get the hell out of this. Like, you're not finna die like this. Like, we're not going out like this, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I saved the wig, and I went right back on the road, and still continued winding up my waist. I look like a cracker. Like, yo, y'all know Liberty has some cute men, right? And when I when I survived that little incident, like my I had my doo doo braids out. I was walking, like looking for my cousin. I didn't have a phone at the time, so I had to like borrow some stranger's phone to try to call her. She's not answering. Yeah, I fixed up myself one time and waited for the Grenadian truck to come because my aunties were there. Fixed my wig like nothing ever happened and went right back to pouting my waist. Anyways, back to this video now because this part's pretty important. So as you guys saw, how I. I'm sewing why well, I left the part in the front out is simply to add a few rows right there so when I do my bangs they're gonna be nice and full nice and full that's what I'm just showing you guys right here um, so it finished the track that I was using obviously it's finished there but it's okay I have another track we're just gonna add and then I just you know to my best try to get it as near as possible to the ending of that last track and I'm just gonna be sewing 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 around so yeah I'm gonna just while that well while I'm doing that I'm just gonna keep talking about my experience at Labor Day 
Um, would I ever go back? I don't know. I do love carnival. I really do love carnival. And the most amazing thing happened to me today. I shouted out my favorite soca artist right now, Voice, the Voice the Artist. And the man finally noticed me after sliding into his DMs like about, I kid you not, I don't, like a lot of times he noticed me and he posted me up on his wall. So like my day is like extra lit right now, like extra lit. Um, but yeah, Labor Day was still fun. I still enjoyed myself. I still continue to whine after that incident. Um, I just know next time, like, I just know next time that's it. like I just know next time <laughs> but all needs to say like I saved my life I saved my purse and I saved my good up good up wig because we did not do all of that to come to Labor Day to lose our wigs that's not what we're like that's not what we're doing we're not losing our wigs our wallets nor our lives like no 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 um so yeah this is almost pretty much to the ending of the video and I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to let you guys just see. I just wanted to give you guys like a little history behind this wig, behind this hair, and um, how far it came. Like, it, it really came a long way. It came a long way. This hair came a long way. Like, a lot of people, not a lot of people, what am I saying? Um, I'm actually shocked. Like, I'm just like, this was some good hair. Like, it was a good investment. And I would buy hair from this vendor again. And that's definitely what we're doing. So this is how it looks afterwards. I, it looks all choppy and disgusting and dusty. It's a whole, whole bunch of different lengths. And I'm going to show you guys like what it looks like on when I cut it and stuff like that. Okay, so we're at the end of the video and I'm going to put on the wig for you guys. So I got my little cap. It's not really necessary. Do what you want to do, honestly. My hair is like in some doodle braids. Been like that for like a few days now. Just so I don't have to really touch it up too much. You know what I'm saying? And I did my makeup off camera. And I got her right here. She ready for me. She ready for me. She ready, 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 ready for me. Uh. Shooting out a lace front, I mean, it's not like mm -hmm. how do I say this? You're shooting out money. We're not here to shoot out money. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, guys. So there you have it. I just showed you guys how to recycle, reuse, and renew your butchered lace front. I feel like this is a this was a very helpful tip for me. Um, this was a growth experience, very rarely enough because I get angry very quickly, and in that anger very impulsive and with that impulsiveness I tend to do things that I later regret so I'm very happy that when I butchered the lace front um, in that anger and with that impulsiveness I actually didn't shoot it in the garbage as I in, as my mind was telling me like shoot that shit da, 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 you know I'm very happy that I just tossed it to the side kind of and just like forgot about it for a few days and then I came up with the idea like you know what let me just see what I can do with it. And I actually seen from a different YouTuber how she made bangs using a lace front. And her lace front, it wasn't butchered or anything. She just showed you how to make bangs with a lace front. And because of her, I'm like, I kind of like intertwined her method with my butchered lace front. I was like, you know what? I think I'm onto something. And I came up with this. And I just blended the lace front with, yo, I don't know why the side of my bangs, like I've been trying to straighten it out and it's just not cooperating. Like, I don't know why guys, I don't know why. But anyways, it still looks good. I'm gonna fix it later. And 
um, I just use kind of like, I kind of just, you know, what I learned from her incorporated with like my own little thing. And that's how I got the idea to make this video and share with you guys because I feel like a lace front, if you guys know, like my wig makers, my hair doers, you know, like you guys know, even if you're just doing it for yourself, for fun, whatever it is, or for clients, whatever, what you guys know, like it's expensive. Like, yes, you can find some for like maybe $20 if you're really great at searching or if you really have the patience to search and go through like a whole bunch of lace fronts like sellers for lace fronts stuff like that like you can find some really cheap ones you know like not cheap ones but like lace fronts at cheaper prices then you have like some at forty dollars and then you have like ones that are like way more you know so you guys know like it's money that you're that we're spending on this it's money and i for one i have cheap tendencies thanks to my daddy thank you dad came in handy came in handy <laughs> I have cheap tendencies with certain things um like it's weird because I ha like if I have to spend money on hair honestly like I don't care how much it is like I do care how much it is but like at the same time I'll quicker spend that money quicker on hair or food than I would like on I don't know right now but I know what I mean but then to think about spending what I just spent that money on and then to shoot that out NASA, I'm money that I'm gonna be spend for that. No, 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 no. We're not doing that today, though. No. So I'm really just, I'm just happy that I'm, I'm just happy to share this video with you guys. I'm just so happy that I can like help you save money, you know. Or I'm just happy, man. Like that's that's what it is. And um, if you guys like this video, thumbs up. Thumb, don't mind my broke up comb, but thumbs up thumbs up if you found it was helpful and someone else that you know whether it's yourself or somebody you know that they love they're passionate about here just as crazy just as much as i am and you know you share with them too this this can be a trick that they can add to their book of tricks and if you want to see more of what i do what are you waiting for subscribe nabu simple simple things simple things so i got three more things to say one of them is definitely even if something is damaged it is still valuable it is still valuable and I the bridge I just showed you guys it's still valuable so it's still worth something also shit now I don't remember the other one I said I had three I don't remember two now Y'all know my motto already. Let the, let the church sing it with me. Say it with me, please. You came into this world to do you, boo. Like, stop wasting time. Like, I have, it took me a long time to realize, like, I need to, like, stop focusing on, like, shit that's not valuable in my life or bringing value to my life. Oh, I remember now. And third, be grateful for whatever it is that you have right now even if it's not much i don't got much i really don't got much but i'm so grateful because i'm finally doing something that i actually love that i actually enjoy doing that i actually find the time to do that i'm not complaining like oh i have to go do another video oh i have to go edit like oh why am i like i'm actually in a very happy and grateful space in my life right now and so thankful, deeply thankful for like the people I've met, met, well not met, I'm not taking it over, that I've met throughout a time of my life when I was already on my process to getting better and I'm just so grateful for those people that has helped through that, through the process that I, that I went through and that I'm still going through because I'm still going through a process and grateful for you guys like I don't gotta say no names it ain't a type of kind of video but just from watching like you guys will, if you guys ever watch or if you guys ever come across like you guys will know like I am grateful for you guys and I'm 
I'm pretty sure I told you guys that in real life so it's not even like oh like not like I'm more real life realistic person like how I feel about you like you won't know in real life and when I feel something about someone if I feel something like I'm more the one to voice like I feel this way and I feel that like so they already know they already know um so thank you guys for watching to, to my new subscribers hello how are you guys doing drop your names you know say hi to me in my comments i don't bite i try to reply or at least like or show love or something to my veteran subscribers i see you guys what's goody and um if it's your first time here i hope it's not your last and last but not least thank you guys for watching have a great weekend i'm out and until next week bye